Jeffrey Hinton just won the 2024 Nobel Prize in Physics. That's huge. But instead of just celebrating, he used the moment to share some serious warnings about artificial intelligence. Doesn't that seem unusual? Someone finally gets one of the biggest honors in the world. And instead of just smiling for the cameras, they talk about the dangers of their own work. That's exactly what happened. Hinton has been called the godfather of AI. And it's not just a nickname. He helped invent key parts of the AI systems used today, from voice assistants to self-driving cars and even tools like ChatGPT. Back in the 1980s, he worked on something called the Boltzmann machine, which helped computers learn patterns. Later, in 1986, he helped create the backpropagation algorithm. This is one of the main reasons modern AI can learn from data. Without his work, AI wouldn't be where it is now. In 2024, he shared the Nobel Prize with John Hopfield, who also worked on early neural networks. These systems copy how the brain works, kind of like a digital brain, in a very basic sense. In 2023, Hinton made a surprising move. He left his job at Google. Why? So he could speak openly about the risks of AI. He said Google had acted responsibly, but he felt that working at a big tech company made it hard to speak his mind. That's a bold move. It's not easy to walk away from a top job at a leading tech company, especially after more than 10 years, but Hinton felt the risks were too serious to stay quiet. Ever feel like someone in power should just say the truth no matter what? That's what Hinton tried to do. At the Nobel Prize banquet in December 2024, Hinton didn't talk only about science. He gave a clear warning. AI could be dangerous, and we need to act fast. Let's look at what he said. Hinton warned that AI could soon help individuals create deadly viruses, even without government backing. With AI tools able to simulate biology and suggest DNA sequences, the risk is growing. In 2022, researchers used an AI model to generate 40,000 harmful molecules in just six hours. This shows how fast AI can be misused. Hinton called this a real and urgent danger. Another terrifying possibility is the use of AI in autonomous weapons, machines that can identify and kill targets without any human involvement. These aren't just science fiction anymore. Several countries, including the US, Russia, China, and Israel, are already developing or testing AI-powered weapons. Hinton warned that once machines can decide who to attack, the rules of war could change entirely. These weapons might make split-second decisions based on patterns or data, not morality. There's also the risk of accidents. What happens if the system misidentifies a target? Experts at the United Nations have been calling for a ban or strict regulation of such weapon. Jeffrey Hinton's most serious concern is that one day, AI will become more intelligent than humans. He estimates there's a 50% chance this could happen in the next five to 20 years. That's not science fiction. In fact, several AI researchers agree that rapid progress in machine learning, computing power, and data availability is bringing us closer to this reality. If AI reaches or surpasses human intelligence, it could start solving problems, making decisions, and improving itself at a speed we can't keep up with. Hinton warns that once AI becomes this powerful, we might not be able to control it anymore. This wouldn't just affect jobs or the economy, it could change the future of humanity. In 2023, a survey of top AI experts by Stanford's Institute for Human-Centered AI found that 36% believe there is a 10% or higher chance that advanced AI could lead to human extinction. That's not a fringe idea anymore, it's a risk being taken seriously by those closest to the technology. Controlling powerful AI might sound simple. Just unplug it, right? But according to Hinton, it's not that easy. Future AI systems could start creating their own sub-goals to accomplish their main task more efficiently. One common sub-goal might be gaining more control, because the more control an AI has, the better it can achieve what it's programmed to do. This doesn't mean it wants to harm people on purpose, but if control helps it meet its goal, it might go after it without asking. Another risk is persuasion, 
advanced A, I could become incredibly skilled at understanding human emotions and behavior. It could start manipulating people to get what it wants, just like a talented speaker or leader, but with way more information and precision. If you've ever been convinced by a clever ad or a persuasive salesperson, imagine that power multiplied by a million. And finally, there's the profit motive. Most of today's AI is developed by big companies looking to make money. That's not a bad thing on its own, but it becomes a problem when safety isn't the top priority. If companies are racing to build smarter systems without putting proper limits in place, they could end up creating something no one can fully control. It's a dangerous mix. Super smart machines, designed to influence people, pushed forward by the drive for profits. Hinton didn't just raise the alarm, he also explained what needs to be done. First, he called for more research on AI safety. Right now, only a small portion of AI funding goes into understanding how to make these systems safe and aligned with human values. According to one report by the AI Now Institute, less than 2% of global AI funding is focused on safety and ethics. He also said that governments need to step up and create strong rules to manage how AI is built and used. Right now, AI development is moving faster than the laws that govern it. Without clear policies, companies might cut corners in the race to be first. Another key point, international cooperation. AI doesn't stop at borders. A dangerous system developed in one country could affect the entire world. That's why global teamwork is so important. Similar to how countries work together on nuclear disarmament. The European Union has already introduced the AI Act, the world's first comprehensive law on AI, but broader international rules are still needed. Finally, Hinton stressed the need for alignment techniques. That means building AI in a way that ensures it continues to do what humans want, even as it becomes smarter. Researchers are already working on ways to make sure advanced systems follow ethical rules, but it's a complex challenge. If we don't get it right, future AI might act in ways we never intended. The problems Jeffrey Hinton described aren't just far-off worries, they're already showing up in everyday life. Social division, surveillance, scams, and misinformation are happening now. The more powerful AI gets, the bigger these problems could become. But there's still time to act. That's what Hinton's message is really about. Not panic, but urgency. He believes we need to treat AI safety like a top priority before it's too late. And honestly, if someone who helped invent modern AI is warning the world, maybe it's time we listen before the systems we've created grow beyond our control. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.